women's brains will start going, okay, where's the food to come in to help bring my stress hormones down and get me started for the day? And men, by the nature of being XY, their brain's like, yeah, okay, I'm going to supply some amino acids and some blood sugar and let's get on with the day. Then we'll find some food. But women's brain, specifically what we call the hypothalamus, that is really sensitive to blood sugar and food coming in. So if you get up and you start your exercise without any food, the hypothalamus is like, wait a second, this is a stress to the body that I need to really try to figure out. But if I don't have food to counter the fuel that the muscles are needing from a contraction, I need to find a way to supply that fuel. So it goes into a little bit of a tizzy. And one of the first things that starts to get broken down is your muscle mass because muscle is a pretty active tissue. And the hypothalamus is like, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to supply the food that this muscle needs if I don't have any food coming in. So it's a very small amount of food that a woman needs first thing in the morning to then go be successful in her training. 